change is blowing in. Iowans are asking, where did summer go? You know, our high temperatures today and tomorrow are expected to be the lowest on record. KCCI's Cynthia Fodor explains. I don't remember it being this cold this early before. Mandy Flynn bundled up Peyton and Gavin to take them to Living History Farms. Bow had to bring out the uh, snow pants today. Although some aren't giving up their shorts just yet, it's time to bring out the boots at Velvet Coat in the East Village. Oh, we love it. <laughs> we love it. They're finally selling fall fashion. I don't like cold, cold, but I'm just tired of the um, hot summer, so I'm ready to start buying for fall. Lots of sweaters, cashmere, um, jackets, wanting new pair of jeans that are in season. Um, a little bit of everything. And we're going to need them. The last time we saw a high of 60 on September 11th was more than a century ago, back in 1898. Friday, we're expected to break the record low max with a high of 54. And Saturday, we'll wake up to a chilly 37 with patchy frost, one month ahead of schedule. There's a lot of house plants out there on the patio that we moved out after Mother's Day that probably need to be first priority. I would start bringing them back in. If it drops down to freezing, Jerry will cover up these hardy mums, which greenhouses typically just start to sell for fall color. If you're in a lower type residential area, that frost will drop down in there and finish some of the garden off out there that's going to need to be cleaned off anyway real soon. I'm not at all ready for it. It makes me nervous for what this winter is going to be. A lot of folks are getting nervous for that right now. And as you can see on this thermometer, it's only about 50 degrees out here right now. That might not seem too cold, except that we should have seen a high of 79 today. And we still have 12 days of summer left. Stacy and Kevin. Cynthia, thank you very much.